Welcome to the podcast of Stream of Love entitled The Winds of Change. John chapter 3 verse 8 in the Amplified Bible Classic Edition reads, The wind blows where it wills, and though you hear its sound, yet you neither know where it comes from nor where it is going. This verse defines the function and characteristics of the wind. And such is what you are about to experience in this year, 5783-2023. For the winds of change are about to be blown in your life and in the situations you find yourself in. A morning in mid-September, as I was on my way to work, the Spirit of God leaned to whisper, the winds of change are about to blow. And as I lingered upon what he had whispered, I was reminded about what he had revealed to me about the year of the portal, 5783-2023. The portal, the shifts, the resets, the wind. All seemed to be like connecting dots. Though the full picture of the connecting dots is still a work in progress, it was evident that the Spirit of God has begun its work in causing about the winds of change to take place in preparation for the portal experience. And it is in these winds of change, the shifts and resets are happening. As I pondered to discover more about the winds of change from the biblical perspective, two verses stood out to me. The first verse is taken from Exodus chapter 10, verse 19, reading from the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. And the Lord turned a violent west wind which lifted the locusts and drove them into the Red Sea. Not one locust remained in all the country of Egypt. And the next verse is taken from Numbers chapter 11, verse 31, reading from the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall beside the camp about a day's journey on this side and on the other side all around the camp about two cubits above the ground. Now both verses highlight the power of God displayed to the blow of the winds. In Exodus, the Lord reveals his power to the wind which lifts the locusts and drives them into the Red Sea, with not even one being left behind. It was a total wipeout. And in Numbers, the Lord reveals his power to the wind which provides quails beyond measure, more than sufficient. As I meditated on these two verses, I sensed that such is going to be the characteristics of the wind of, winds of change which are about to be blown. For the Lord will reveal his power to you as the one who drives the devourer from your midst and as the one who provides you beyond your expectation. For though it may seem impossible for the locusts present in your life and in your situations to be lifted and driven into the Red Sea, the winds of change will cause about such a deliverance through the wind which will be caused by his power. Similarly, though it may seem impossible to have sufficiency, the winds of change which proceed from the Lord will cause about a breakthrough of providence in your life and in your situations to reveal His power of His providence. For such is going to be the winds of change in 5783-2023. And in order to be ready for the winds of change which are about to be blow or about to be blown in your life, you need to be sensitive to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. For it is through your observance to hear what the Spirit of God is about to do in your life, you will be able to experience what He has in store for you. Therefore, hang in there, hold on to Him, and hear what the Spirit of God is whispering to you. For the winds of change are about to be blown in your life in your situations. May the stream of love which flows from the throne room of God 
immerse you in his presence and nourish you through his word. God bless you.